So this is a simulated patient task assessing information gathering, communication with patient, communication with colleagues, patient safety and applied clinical knowledge. Uh, you are the registrar in the contraception clinic today. Your next patient is Erin uh, Johns, and she's a 12-year-old girl who suffers from learning disability and a heavy period. She attended with her mother. The mother is requesting uh, to fit a marina coil for her daughter. Um, so usually uh, we will uh, start by taking the history from uh, the mother uh, in relation to her daughter, um, why she wants to uh, fit the marina coil, what are the concerns uh, from the mother point of view. Um, she will tell you that she is having a heavy period and she has learning disability. For example, she is she have sometimes she may have Down syndrome or uh, some brain problem like uh, having a stroke or anything like that. And um, she won't just to reduce the amount of her period and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, so we need to ask uh, about how heavy her periods um, how many uh, beds she's changing, how frequency is her periods, if she have any bleeding in between periods. And um, we need to uh, exclude uh, that the girl is being exposed to any, um, like, you know, abuse at home or at uh, if she's attending any schools or anything from the mother, okay? However, she will not really disclose that um, if you ask a direct question, okay? Then we'll take uh, the other parts of the history uh, as usual. Uh, if the girl is suffering from any other problems um, and uh, if she has any previous surgery, if she has any allergies uh, and uh, about how uh, like, you know, how, how is the degree of her learning disability? If she's able to speak and explore about her opinion about the treatment she's going to take, if she understands anything about it, uh, if she's willing for us to go ahead with this treatment or no. And all of these questions should be given to the mother and the mother will answer. Sometimes if we feel that the girl can understand little bit, we can ask the mother to give us a chance to speak to the girl alone, um, just to explore that whether she understands what she's coming for, whether she's forced to do anything she doesn't want, or she, whether she's uh, getting abused by someone else either at home or at the school or anything like that, okay? Um, then, uh, because this concern, uh, like, you know, sometimes uh, is strange. Uh, this is a girl who is 12 years and the mother coming asking for a contraception, which is long-term contraception. Um, that's a red flag sign. Uh, you need to be alert for the children's safeguarding involvement. Okay, so first of all, we need to um, explain to the mother that uh, it is illegal to offer uh, any kind of contraception for a girl who is blue 14 years if she is fully competent. Like if the girl is fully competent, she only has to take the contraception at the age of 14 or more. But if, if the girl is having learning disability and she's 12 years, it's totally illegal to give her any kind of contraception. So if you are really concerned with her heavy periods, we need to do a pelvic scan first to be sure that everything is all right inside. We need to do some blood tests, okay? Uh, the blood tests will include her full blood count. We need to see how this heavy periods affecting her general condition, okay? Um, 
and also we can offer uh, her some medications like tranexamic acid, mefenamic acid in the beginning and see how it goes. Sometimes the mother will refuse to give the daughter any tablets because um, she will tell that the patient will be like the girl will be uh, uncompliant to the tablets. I can't give her any medicine like that, like that. Um, then we can tell her then we have uh, norecestrone, um, which is a hormonal treatment for the bleeding, but it is not a contraception. Uh, it is given by tablet form as well. Uh, she has to take one tablet a day. Then uh, if the mother refuses this option as well um, in this situation, we need to tell the mother that um, actually we can't. Um, I understand your uh, concern, but unfortunately I can't uh, provide you with what you uh, need today. I need to involve the children safeguarding team uh, in this uh, case and also I will raise an incident report uh, and involve, unfortunately we have to involve, involve the police uh, because um, we have uh, a possibility uh, of um, a child at risk uh, of being sexual abused, uh, sexually abused, um, and that's why um, the concern came for requesting a long-term contraception. Um, we need also to involve the social workers, uh, and uh, after that, we will, uh, uh, like you know, do an MDT. Uh, meeting uh, to to decide what is the best interest for this girl. Sometimes uh, the the meeting will come out uh, that the best interest for her is to fit the Marina coil for the sake of heavy period. If all of the uh, team agreed, that's fine. We will go ahead. Uh, however, sometimes uh, they will need a second opinion, and this only can be uh, done by the court uh, order. So I'm I'm really sorry I can't uh, like you know give you the treatment today. Uh, uh, it has to go uh, through a couple of things um, because this is unusual. So um, I will. Uh, give you another appointment once this MDT done and the decision taken, I will contact you and update you about the decision. Okay, so that's mainly uh, for the station. Um, we need uh, to, uh, like, you know, have an alert or alarm in our mind when a child below 14 years old came with her mother, even if she has learning disability, if she has many condition, we can't offer her contraception by our own. She, it has to come through an MDT decision and sometimes a second opinion through the court order, okay? Uh, children safeguarding, involvement of the police, involvement of social worker, incident report, uh, all these kind of stuff should be done, okay? Thank you.